Episode 9 is set to include many different twists and turns as well as surprises in this film by writer and director JJ Abrams. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now I will say that one thing that I am truly looking forward to seeing in this film is exactly how JJ Abrams is going to change our view on both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with one of the twists involving Luke Skywalker and Ben Solo. Specifically, a description of Luke and Ben Solo training in front of the Jedi Temple. Both of their lightsabers are locked in one place. The next goes over Luke lecturing Ben Solo about the ways of the Jedi, where they eventually get into an argument. It's described that Ben's interest in his grandfather had spiked during his training with Luke, and began to ask questions about Anakin. It said Luke refused to talk about his father, Anakin Skywalker, to Ben Solo, and this caused a complex relationship between the two, and what drove Ben Solo down the dark side more. The next describes that Luke intentionally lied to Ben Solo on some occasions, through noticing the dark side rising within him, and told him stories of Darth Vader without telling him who Vader really was. The last goes over Ben Solo hearing a voice, a sinister voice delivering him the truth of Vader and his bloodline, and that Luke is a manipulator, which causes Kylo to convince some of the Jedi to turn against others. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about this that are really getting me very excited about this movie when it comes to all of the different ideas and basically all of the different techniques that J.J. Abrams will be using in order to look at The Last Jedi and of course The Force Awakens in a different light. Now one thing is for certain is that Ben Solo we do know that he was training with Luke Skywalker quite a bit throughout the years. And that's exactly what led to that relationship between both uncle and nephew being very complex. In this scenario, that's fully explained in more detail, where we do have Luke Skywalker actually lying to Ben Solo about his grandfather Anakin Skywalker, basically telling him stories about Darth Vader without telling him who he really was. Now, what's really interesting to me though, is the dark sinister voice speaking to Ben Solo, delivering the truth about Darth Vader and who he really was or is, and that Luke Skywalker is a manipulator to Ben Solo, convincing Ben Solo to eventually turn on him. And the, um, the big turn in The Last Jedi, as you all saw, was when Luke thought about striking him down. Now, Ben Solo was already thinking about, you know, turning against his own uncle Luke Skywalker after hearing the voices inside of his head. Now, I believe that those voices are indeed Supreme Leader Snoke. I mean, it has to be, right? What other dark, sinister voice would be communicating to Ben Solo? This also brings us back to The Force Awakens novelization, where Rey actually heard a sinister voice talking to her telling her to kill him, to kill Kylo Ren. So the other thing that honestly also really does very much excite me and really interests me in this scenario is that Ben Solo actually convinced some of Luke's new generation of Jedi that Luke was manipulating them about the Jedi way and about some of the facts involving Darth Vader slash Anakin Skywalker that Snoke had this ultimate plan for years upon years. So with that being said, you know, this whole entire twist involving Luke Skywalker of Luke getting into, the, into an argument about the Jedi Code and the Jedi Way with Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo, and of course refusing to tell him about his grandfather Anakin Skywalker, who was also Luke's father, refusing to talk about him causing, you know, this complex relationship between both uncle and nephew, which drove Ben Solo down, you know, the dark side of the Force even more. I find that very intriguing and very interesting on exactly how the relationship between both Luke and Kylo eventually began to fall apart, especially when Snoke's actual voice or this dark side user's voice reaches out to Kylo Ren and tells him about the truth of Luke Skywalker and the truth about Darth Vader and where Ben really comes from. Now, if you guys read the actual Bloodline novel, you will learn that General Leia, after being exposed, that she is the daughter of Darth Vader. She tried her very best in order to reach out to Ben Solo you know, as soon as possible. Now, it's very likely that she reached out to him too late and that Ben learned the truth through Snoke first, 
rather than Leia getting to him first. So you can really see, you know, more stories and more truths to the story, I should say, about exactly what caused Ben Solo to turn to the dark side and Luke Skywalker, which was also told in The Last Jedi, but there was more to the story. Luke Skywalker was also a bigger hand in all of this about refusing to tell Ben Solo about his grandfather Anakin and lying to him and telling him stories about Darth Vader and who he really is. Meanwhile, he actually learned the truth through this dark side user, most likely being Supreme Leader Snoke. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.